Hello, everyone. My name is Xiao Dongyue. I'm a professor at Captain Normal University. Welcome to my course on skills for writing and publishing academic papers in English. Today's topic is on how to write method and result. Before we start our talk, let's see the vocabulary or the words for this talk. I do you a favor. Please read after me to familiarize your ear for the terms, for the words, for the vocabulary I'll talk, I'll mention in this talk. Are ready? Read after me. Historical context. Historical context. Conceptual level. Conceptual level. Interpret. Interpret. Multiple. Multiple. Assumption. Assumption. Bias. Bias. Background. Background. Replicate. Replicate. Relevant publication. Relevant publication. Synonym. Synonym. Related term. Related term. Credible. Credible. Representative. Representative. Influential. Influential. Participant. Participant. Subject. Subject. Material. Material. Apparatus. Apparatus. Equipment. Equipment. Procedure. Procedure. Ethical approval. Ethical approval. Methodology. Methodology. Interpretation. Interpretation. Format. Format. Figure. Figure. Table. Table. Ethical issue. Ethical issue. Highlight. Highlight. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. Justify. Justify. Formulate. Formulate. Data source. Data source. Abbreviation. Abbreviation. Element. Element. Raw data. Raw data. Appendix. Appendix. Interpret. Interpret. Qualitative research studies. Qualitative research studies. Assumption. Assumption. Synthesize. Synthesize. Analytical technique. Analytical technique. Perspective. Perspective. Generate. Generate. Suitable. Suitable. Accumulate. Accumulate. Phenomena. Phenomena. Appropriate. Appropriate. Empirical research. Empirical research. 
practical implication. Practical implication. Result. Result. Rationale. Rationale. Authenticity. Authenticity. Objectivity. Objectivity. Practically. Practically. Data analysis. Data analysis. Reliability. Reliability. Validity. Validity. Before my talk, let's have these questions in mind. First of all, what is method section? And secondly, what are the tips for writing a good method section? And third question, what is without section? And the fourth question, what are the tips for writing a good without section? Keeping this question in mind, Let's start today's talk. And first, let's look at what is method section and what are the tips for its writing. Generally speaking, the method of research paper is where you report methods that you have used to test or examine the research questions or hypotheses that you have raised or proposed in your study. And the method could be written in either present tense present perfect tense, or past tense, depending on what you report. And in general, present tense or present perfect tense are used when you describe the research materials or equipment, while past tense is used when you describe the research process or procedure. And remember, you should always follow the guidelines of your target journal, such as APA, MMA, or Chicago. Uh, it has a manual, it's a whole book for how you should write a proper part of your academic paper. There are generally five components in a method. First, participants or subjects, meaning who are sampled for your study and how. Talk about people who are sampled for your study, either randomly or conveniently sampled. And then what is the age, gender distribution of the participants or subjects who were sampled for your study, and this kind of information you need to provide. Second, materials or apparatus, meaning what materials or equipment do you use and how do you decide to these materials or equipment. All right. Third, what steps do you enclose? And how do you determine the uh, procedure? And the fourth, ethical consideration. What ethical consideration do you have? And um, how you go about this? And the fifth, ethical approval. And finally, where do you get your study approved and which institution give you the approval. So you need to have this kind of a five elements of information in your method section. Now, just to give you an example. Here an example, let's look at this together. Now you can see this is a description of, of uh, subjects in one of my studies. And uh, the part that is in uh, red block describes or report the age, gender, health conditions of the subjects, and also the ethical approval of the study from whatever the institution that supports my present study. And here is a, another example. It's about the materials for our study. And as you can see again, the part in in the red block, report on the brand, the functions, and the usage of the equipment used for the present study. Okay, I don't have to go on with this. Uh, if you read any academic journals, you'll quickly know 
the、uh, formula like writing like this. I'm just give you an example. But the important thing is the tips, the tips for writing a good method section. Now, first, do not use abbreviations for the equipment's questionnaire scales that you have used for your study. Spell them out. Why I say this? Because you have to have the the due reader awareness or audience awareness. You do not assume or take it for granted that everyone knows what you talk about. You have to spell out the word or terms for whatever、um, questionnaires or equipments I use for your study. At least for the first time. For the rest, you can use the abbreviations. That's very important. Second, do check and follow the guidelines of writing. For your target journal, avoid making stupid mistakes. Because you know, different journals have different requirement. If you based your paper on one journal, target journal, and then it was rejected, and you submit to another journal without any changes, and you get immediate rejection from the journal, saying or requesting you to follow the guidelines or Revise your paper according to guidelines before you can submit again. So you have to keep this in mind. A lot of the new writers or authors have made mistakes like this, including myself. When I submit my paper to one journal, and I was not lucky enough to get my paper accepted, then I、um, uh, made minor revisions and sent sent to another journal, and then I was rejected. Because it didn't follow the expected format of the journal. Remember, this is in good old days when I do the hard copy, I send this to、uh, a particular place, the, the editor's office, with my hard copy, a letter, and three weeks later, I got a hard copy letter saying I should revise my paper according to guidelines. I lost four weeks in between. Now, if you submit your manuscript to a journal, you can get a rejection within seconds or within just one day because they they can just follow quickly check up your guidelines. But the important thing, as I said earlier, is you upset you upset the editor because the editor thinks that you didn't read carefully what we expect from a writer. And you just、uh, randomly send your paper to us for wheel of good fortune or for pure good luck. Bad news, you don't have it. Thirdly, do use short and concise languages for writing, particularly for master section. You do not write long sentences. You can read almost any articles,、um, academic articles for writing.、Um, For master section, you usually short.、Uh, the whole paragraph may have、um, four or five sentences, and each one is a straight sentence that don't have a,、uh, a clauses or gerund or other uh, supporting uh, uh, terms or torics. Fourth, do use discipline specific vocabulary for writing. As I said again and again. Academic writing is formal like writing, and we expect to write、uh, in the common terms that we all understand. So, the key terms you have to make sure you're writing. This is what I keep saying that you cannot rely on translation devices to do writing because translation devices they could pick the wrong term, wrong word for your expression because they don't know. So you really have to do the writing. Like a native speaker, and then you will avoid making such stupid mistakes. And fifth, do notice the tense difference in writing, because oftentimes people get confused. Should I use all past tense or present tense or present perfect tense? When when did I use them?、Um, well, there was a general expectation, as I said earlier, that、uh, when you write, when you report, 
on your uh, research procedure, you use past tense, but when you report materials use, you use a present tense or even present perfect, perfect tense. If you're not so sure, you can check a few examinatory papers. I'm sure you'll know what to do. Okay, here I give you some more examples. Now, this is one of the articles I publish. Um, I don't have to read it out, but you can see the part that is in red lock would suggest past tense is used, present tense is used, and even present perfect tense is used, depending on what I described. So you'll notice. All right, having said all of this, I'm gonna tell you, of all sections or parts in the academic paper, method section is the easiest to write. And you should write it first. Why? Because after you write your method section, you build up your confidence. You pick up your momentum that you already finished the entire part within one day. How exciting that is. This is what I tell my students, that when they write academic papers, the sequence of writing is methodology or method, results, introduction, and discussion. If you go by this sequence, you get more confidence built up during the writing. If you start with introduction, you get frustrated. And when you get to the results section, you carry on the, the frustrating mood. You may, not, you may not be able to write that well. You want to start with good spirit. Thank you.